Oh, oh that oh, phone's wow. just absorbing that it noise. Is. Yeah. You even hear any of that? I, I'm, not I not looked well. up and you were there. I didn't even hear that's you walk I, in. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, that's something. I walked into this room and I was instantly deaf. It was like a flashbang, but for hearing. <laughs> <It's> deaf. <laughs> it's like a flashbang, but for hearing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm already okay. tired, so we're yeah. going to start off slap happy. Yeah, it's going to oh, be great. It's yeah. gonna, this is going to be a good one. I was thinking about that. So, yeah, I'm like, this, when one. we start, it's going to be good. <laughs> this is gonna be good. So is this like... Have we? Has it started? No, hang no. on. I'm just trying to. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll, we'll, we'll yeah, have it's fine. No, it's no, stuff. it's good. No, it's good. No, it's good. No, I was just. Good. I, it's actually funny. Um, I saw <laughs> Norm's, Norm's wife accepted some kind of acceptance thing for him for pets, and uh, his son like accept par- partially accepted the speech or accepted the award too, and gave like a little. And it's he sounded exactly like Norm, and he had like. His deli- son did. Yeah, he. D- Wait, are we talking like, about Norm McDonald? Yeah, he had like a little delivery of like a slight joke. So and we're it, start. We're starting out. Look at that. We got two in the audience. By the way, was so Norm esque. Hi, audience members. Well, now you can say hi because you're unmuted. Wow, so, that's a. That's I also got to start recording this. That's an incredible thing. You know, um, that's, a, that's a good thing there. You know, you gotta... But oh, I was just thinking, what last couple nights ago, um. Mm-hmm. Where did Jordan go? I didn't hear him leave because of the. F- oh my six god, he's gone. Foam! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> um, top top five. <laughs> what does your shirt say on the back? Bonfire. Oh, okay, I thought it said Bon Jovi for a second. I was like, hell yeah. I wish. Who says you can't go home? Bon Jovi. Slippery when wet. Bon Jovi. <laughs> it's my life. Bon jo- <laughs> Wanted dead or alive. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Okay. John? Hey, we're recording and we're live on Discord, just so you guys know. Just a heads up. Sorry. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Top five Adam Sandler movies. Oh. Zero of them. Fuck off. But Wedding Singer is one. I figured you'd say that. Wedding Singer is the best Adam Sandler movie. No, it's not. I hate the ass, man. No. I know you. Click. Do. Click can go in there. That's in my top five. Spanglish is definitely top five. I fucking hate that movie. Really? Uh, I think that's one of his worst. Oh, see, I thought that was a good movie. Really? I like it. Happy Gilmore. See, I put Billy Madison above Happy Gilmore. (coughs) Hey, turn Uh, turn your phone down. I think there's just nostalgia factor for Happy Gilmore for me. I, it just, see, I, I, they're okay. They're just okay. See, I think, I think Billy Madison is higher than Happy Gilmore because you got Chris Farley. That's true. You got the that's correct. That's like correct. That's... Oh, now you turn your phone down too. I, listen, I'm you're, turning my hey, phone down. You're lucky my foam absorbed that or they'd hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What, this, is a, this is a professional thing we're doing. Oh, here. hey. Yeah. Hey, everyone. He's for horses. Live Jericho. recording of All Fair will happen <laughs> exclusively on Discord tonight. <laughs> join live and hear everything that doesn't make the cut. Even join in on the podcast by calling in. So you should join. Damn, we should get an ad spot for that. Is the number? Is no, that... don't don't read nope. that number. Okay. It, it is our studio number now, but we had issues with it earlier. So, all right, fuck it. Let's try it. Four four zero eight seven nine seven one eight seven. All right, go ahead and call it. I gotta get it pulled up now. <laughs> That's four four zero eight seven nine seven one eight seven. It's good. It's probably good. won't yeah. work. It might go to Shane's phone. Oh. Oh, and if you guys want a nice <laughs> polo. Yeah, nice polo, some nice swimming trunks. If you want to get a some, nice bikini some, for the lady, some go ahead and go trunks. to Burmese.com and get 15% off with the promo code Jake Underwood. That's Jake Underwood for 15% off. Oh, can I have, can I do one? Yeah, it's your show. Use, use code Ooga Booga oh. for $10 off when you purchase any any $15 subway. item. From where? Anywhere. Anywhere? <laughs> yeah. So Adam Sandler, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> no, I was just, I, I was looking through all of his like prime, because he went through a stint where like he did a bunch of really good movies. He did like Big Daddy. He did Big Daddy is a good movie. Uh, he did Big Daddy. He did Wedding Singer. He did Happy Gilmore. He did um, fuck. Zohan. Zohan I'll put on the list. Zohan's like later. That's my that's my top five. 
Um, There's another one though that he. Did. I only have that, three. That's, that's top my five. boy. That's my boy. That, that was okay. That that's movie, the one with Andy Samberg. Yeah, that yeah. one's just so outlandish. Like they got fucking Tony Orlando in that. And Don, not Don, just Tony Orlando. <laughs> the the well, you know, he was man. going home because he had done his time, but he didn't know what what is and isn't his. Is that so? Yeah. No. He was. He was just a. Uh, he was just like a. A, a, a kooky dad in that one, right? He, he played a, the boss. He was. He had an earring. I thought, and and, and that's my boy. And Andy Samberg was like the son, and the oh, Sandman I'm was gonna, like the dad. Oh he yeah, was, no, right. he was the dad. I thought yeah. you were talking about Tony Orlando. That, <laughs> oh no, that movie, the boss is Bruce Springsteen. Not, that movie's Sam. been out for a minute, hasn't it? What? That's my boy. Yeah, 2012. So I can say things about it, right? Like no spoilers here at this point. Yeah. yeah. So that's the movie where the brother and sister are fucking, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a solid movie. Just for that, I watched. Right, it for because the nobody nobody expected that though. Because I'm like, well, that's fucking weird that he's like, you fucking your brother? What are you guys doing there for? See, that's no. why. That's exactly why I don't like Adam Sandler. Because <laughs> that's every movie. But you, that's you the, could have told me that was Jack and Jill, but, but yep, that, that's the one. First of all, Jack and Jill. It is not. No, don't fucking listen, start this. Do listen. Not. Just for the simple effort that he put in. Is impressive. He put in effort. Anger. Have you guys seen? Anger he played Management? a woman and then a man. Yeah. Some liberals do that every See, day. Okay, but like, <laughs> so then where do you st- where? <laughs> Go ahead. Where do you stand on Tyler Perry then? Oh, I'm a fan of Tyler Perry. Okay. I can tolerate him more than the ass man. I I think um, really. Yeah, he you does, like he, Tyler Perry more than the ass man. I can I can. He, is that the one that does Medea too? Yeah, yeah. Tyler Perry. Yeah, I can tolerate that voice being overused more than his Hi, stupid. Nerd. I can tolerate that more than Adam Sandler's <laughs> stupid Mm-mm. gibberish in every movie. Mm-mm. I I like Adam Sandler way more than I like. Don't get me wrong. I went through a little bit of a Medea phase. And now the newer movies are shit. I I don't like. The Netflix think, only movies are bad. Yeah. I well, I, no, you liked that one, didn't you? What one? Uncut Gems, was it? I, oh one, no, I'm talking about Tyler. Who are we talking about? Tyler Perry? Both. We can talk about either one. Okay. Really. Well, Tyler Perry's movies on Netflix are shit. Uncut Gems, the ending was very unexpected. Ending, so it kind of threw you through the a loop, was and you're sad. like, oh shit. The ending was sad. Right. I was like, oh damn. So like that that made it worth watching. Yeah. I don't know if I would watch it again because they hyped up the fact that Kevin Garnett was in that movie. And he was in it for maybe five yeah, minutes. It wasn't a big deal. The movie, though, like that alone showed me that and the cobbler, too. I remember when the cobbler came out, uh, I was very surprised with like I was surprised that he took like that was they chose him for the role and he did well. Yeah, in it. yeah. I just didn't like the movie. See, that's how I liked the movie. See, Spanglish it... was like that for me. I wasn't expecting that out of him in Spanglish. Like, yeah, that was a yeah, good movie. He can, he can, and now I'm looking at like all of the movies that Adam Sandler has done. He's done a lot of movies. Yeah, sure. He went through a phase where he did some shitty movies. I mean, Transylvania? Like, Transylvania wasn't even bad. It wasn't. I don't mind. And maybe I just have a soft spot for animation movies, but like... You know what I think wasn't bad that gets a lot of shit? Hmm. Uh, bedtime Stories. Yeah. Dude, it that's was a, okay. That's a solid movie. Like, no, when it's on, it more, when it's on it TBS on a Saturday and, like, you got nothing else to do, that's a solid movie. Plus, the love interest in that movie is fucking good. I, I remember like, being damn. a kid and watching that movie and, like, enjoying it and being like, okay, this was good. I, I, would, I laughed. I and got... Gr- and Grown Ups 1, for what it was. Yeah. Grown Ups 2 went a little too commercial, but I yeah. appreciate it because, like, Stone Cold's in it. Yes, Shaq is that. in it like that. That's funny shit. I got four. I got four Adam Sandler movies and I can shoehorn in a fifth if I have to. OK. Mm-hmm. Wedding Singer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Click. Mm-hmm. Longest Yard. Mm-hmm. Waterboy. Mm-hmm. Mr. Deeds is going to be my shoehorn five. Uh-huh. There's a movie you forgot and I think it's a very underrated movie. Mm-hmm. Fifty First Dates. Oh, I that, can't. Good one. It, that's a good it's movie. A, it's an OK movie. It's just I can't. It doesn't have a lot of replay. Fair enough. Tell TBS that. Okay, Has we, anybody watched hey, Pixels? We, no. No, but I wanted it to be good. I heard that it was dog poop. Jake, yeah. Drake Schrader says, how are you not mentioning Little Nicky? Little Nicky isn't bad. It is it is kind of slept on. It's, I don't know. Jewel, Jewel says, how are you not, uh, or talk about the jerky prices that are too much. <laughs> uh, happy, I love Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is one of my favorite. I like Happy time. Gilmore more than Billy Madison. I like Happy Gilmore a fuck ton. I think that movie's great. Uh, you can, you can, if you're in the room, by the way, on Discord, you can request to join us too. Oh shit! Hold yeah. on. Airheads. 
eh. I forgot he's in Airheads. I yeah, mean, I don't consider yeah. that like a Sandler movie. Yeah, no. Yeah, but he's there. Neither do I, but he's in it, yeah. Airheads is underrated. See, okay, I the reason that Click is my number two, right? Click is not And I'm, I'm only saying that because Wedding Singer is a fantastic movie in mm-hmm. any aspect, it's I think. because the wife had a smoke and a hot body. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I click is number two because that one to me isn't an Adam Sandler movie. But like when I think about him, I don't think about Click, and yeah. so it's like, oh yeah, that's right, that was Adam He's Sandler, that in was in Click. Like, See, Click is a good movie despite Adam yeah. Sandler. Yeah, <laughs> jeez, that's but, my. <laughs> but I, but I think Adam Sandler it's makes a really rough that. take on Adam. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't like the ass man. So hold on. So who would you? Who do you think would do a better job in that role? Seth Rogen was the original. Roll and click, and there's he? a and there's a reason why he didn't get it. Steve no, Carell. Steve, I think Steve Carell, like unironically, un- un- Steve Carell would have done great. No, yeah. yes, not that, at that point in time. He has always been good. No, okay. 2000, 2006, Steve a Carell. Space Odyssey. Two thousand six, Steve. That Carell. would not have been good because yeah. all his bit was is that he would say things sarcastically and then yell. Adam Sandler just makes <laughs> yeah, noises and so, yells. But that's so funny when Steve Carell yells really loud. <laughs> that's, I always think it's so funny. <laughs> like I when he's clear brick, bankruptcy! Like when he's, when he's well, brick. You did that yesterday. Don't even fucking come at me. Nuh-uh. Like when he's brick in Anchorman. Yeah. And- <laughs> I will say this, and I've said it a hundred times. I'll but at that, I- hold on. At that point in time, he wasn't a leading man. No, that's very true. But he should have been. That's very true. Um, but, but yeah, I, he totally had the potential to be. I prefer, everyone talks about like the Adam Sandler posse. He never posse. blew me away. I know someone Steve like that. <laughs> you, ever, you ever, you know how like everyone talks about the Adam Sandler posse, like you get Chris Rock, David <laughs> yeah. Spade, Rob yeah. Schneider. Yeah. I much prefer the Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Owen Wilson group. But you know what? I can't hate on Adam Sandler for doing that because I plan on doing oh, no, the same absolutely. fucking thing. I, you can't hate on him. Yeah. I just, uh, as like, yeah. full Like actors, when I go, you guys are going with me. Who the no, fuck are you? It's a really, it's a really great like. Uh, I am me. Me am I. Idea to keep with you of like these people that I do yeah. comedy with. I do comedy well with them, so I'm now, going to continue to do. Would comedy you feel with them. different? And this is an honest question: Would you feel different about like I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, for instance? That's okay. That might be my number five. Actually, <clears throat> because I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry is a really I forgot about that one. Like that, that was movie. that was obviously originally supposed to be Chris Farley. Yeah, yeah. Would would you view these movies differently? So like Grown Ups, would Grown Ups be higher on your list if it was Farley instead Probably. of Kevin James? And that's nothing against Kevin James, but you just can't top okay, Farley. But here's okay. the thing. But here's the thing. I'll, I'll I'll double down on that. Your example is I now I think that works better with Kevin James because I I because Adam Sandler's the funny guy, <laughs> Kevin James is the straight man in it. I don't want to see uh, Adam Sandler as the straight man in well, it. I don't want to see Adam Sandler or I don't want to see Chris Farley as the straight man. Well, in that's it. like Shrek. Here's so something. originally Farley was supposed to be Shrek. Yeah, it would have been completely different. I agree with that hundred percent. Um, I think also too we have to keep the keep in mind like. There's always the conversation of like, oh, Tupac is the greatest, all oh, Biggie Small is the greatest. I I think you're only saying that because he's dead. Um, I yeah. think it's just like sa- with people with little <clears throat> peep. Yeah, I, I think it's <laughs> I think it's the same <laughs> thing with Chris Farley. It's like, would he? Would we look no. at him? Would we look at him the way that we look at him now, or would we look at him like someone like Adam Sandler or I, I Chris think- or, or or you know like Chris Rock, someone like that? We would, we, would we look at him in that light but farley was still alive for his downfall there was a downfall yeah there. yeah and it's still he's still remembered fondly i think yeah no i think you do have a really good point though i think him and and, and it's funny as is like how close they were i think him and adam sandler's a good comparison because mm-hmm. everyone fucking loved adam sandler yeah. for his rise yeah yeah even if his movies were at dog shit um everyone fucking loved adam sandler as rise because he was the goofy funny guy and you knew the but i still watch beverly yeah. hills ninja right Fair, but I'm saying, fair, fair. If if Farley, even on his downfall, if he was like still alive today and continue to make movies in the vein of like an Adam Sandler does, mm-hmm. I think I'd be burnt burnt out on Chris Farley by now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I don't think we would watch a Beverly Hills Ninja of today. I don't think we would. Get Which the don't same... get me wrong, there might be one or two just like Adam Sandler today where I'm like, okay, that was a pretty decent film. Yes, I... but I don't want to see the Chris Farley stick in every film he's in. I agree, but. With that. Remember this. I, I, I think I think we lo- are looking at him through rose tinted glasses yeah. right now. But Shrek was going to be a more serious film. I think Shrek Which I don't would want. Been, I think Shrek would have been way cooler. And I think that there's an alternate timeline out there where like Shrek was done with Chris Farley and Chris Farley didn't pass away. You know, rest in peace. Because obviously. like Chris Farley could be a serious actor. Uh, yeah, we yeah, saw yeah. that. Yeah. So we would have. I think I think Chris Farley would have been typecast at that point as like the too serious guy. 
And we'd be looking at it as like, damn, dude, I really wish he was funny again. I don't know if that I don't know if I'd go that's that far. That's interesting. That's interesting. I think because I think he would have been more typecast as a voice actor though. Oh, that's also that's so also cool. that's equally interesting. Like a video game with Chris Farley. I see I'd play that. That'd be cool. I would play dude. the fuck out of that. That'd be cool. Uh sidebar, Jake Schrader says to look up on Pornhub Ass Man. Apparently there's someone that goes by Ass Man on Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> on the list. Don't worry. <laughs> Add it to <laughs> the spank <laughs> bank. <laughs> but yeah. Rest in peace, Chris Farley. I it's watched just it. Billy I, Gunn. I remember yeah. I didn't know like that much about him, and I, this was when I was younger. His so. brother's really funny. Really, I saw I've some seen, stand up of his. Some, he does stand up. I've seen like clips. Never he looks just fucking like him too. Yeah. It's crazy, Sound, but no, his, I, I, he's really funny. From what I've seen, kind of gives off the same uh, mm-hmm. vibe. They, They're a little more brothers. serious. They yeah, have but. the same inflection. Yes, and that's what because yes. I saw it on TikTok, and he was like, "So I went to the store the other day, and I'm yeah. like, oh my." That's how it is with Norm's son. How I was talking about Norm's son yeah. earlier. That's exactly how it is. It's like the same de- uh, inflection and same delivery of well, like you know the humor. lesson that Norm McDonald taught us all is that uh, 9-11 is a uh, is a national tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Shane doubts nine eleven confirmed. <laughs> Because of the drive by media. I'm just saying, I, uh, when you did the the Chris Farley's brother impression, yeah, sounded a little bit like Squirrely Dan. I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just saying. because it wasn't exactly like Farley. Well, I'm just saying. And what? Squirrely Dan gives off some Farley he vibes. He does. To be fair. To, to be, be fair. fair. What do you guys do with your stickers? You get stickers. It's nice fucking segue. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck <What's that>? right <laughs> off! How's that court case Big, going? That was Kevin Nash, you cunt! <laughs> oh my Either god! Way. Hold on, you'll way. <laughs> you'll appreciate this. So, in the fantasy draft that I'm in, I'm in a 14 league fantasy draft. Oh, good okay. for you! Sports, and dude. Uh, so that's why we're here. We so like James, sports, so we don't care who. So knows. James Cartarelli, who has yeah. the wrestling podcast, I get on there and it's a rookie draft. So it's all the college players, and I go fucking hate them. I go just a reminder. Just because they're good in college doesn't mean they're going to be good at the main level. Much like Finn fucking Balor. And I just start going off about Finn Balor. And he's like, hold on. Why are you hating on Finn Balor? I go, because he's the most overrated fucking wrestler of all time. He's like, well, that's weird. I I mean, there are plenty of people to go after. I wouldn't be going after Finn Balor like that, but I mean, I respect it. And I'm like, why? I, I need I need to know. Why do people oh, stand up for him? This. You're going to hate this. Why do people stand up you're for Finn Balor that way? What? Jake Schrader. Jake Underwood equals Pat McAfee. <laughs> Who? Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I was too busy looking at my paycheck. What did he say? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Yeah. Who is someone like famous that you? Bruce Springsteen. I fucking hate him. Is that not where we're going? Oh no, that no. that was exactly. Right. Oh really? I was gonna say, what is like one celebrity that you just have a gripe with for no reason that you don't like? Oh no, I have reasons. Never mind. I okay, I got one. the the dude from How I Met Your Mother, the dude who's in um the movie with Paul Rudd. This I love you, too, man. This is too oh, straight. Yeah, session. yeah, yeah we did this last time. <laughs> that yeah. tall lumbering fuck. He is. He's a you, tall lumbering yeah, goofy looking fuck. Yeah, you don't. How like am I him. supposed to take him seriously? Even as a comedy, I can't do it. He's fucking stupid yeah, and derpy. He's not supposed I'm to be trying, taken seriously. I'm trying to think. He's about, not supposed to be an actor. No, he is. He's fun. I, I have like a lot. Funny of, looking. I have reasons for the people that I hate, though. That's the thing. Now, whether or not they're they're yeah, valid, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like. I can't stand Pat McAfee because he says fuck and everybody freaks out. And they're like, oh, oh, nobody's ever done that before. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Like, I I think he's an asshole because when he's a wrestling commentator, he wants to dance around on the fucking commentator's table. I don't like him because of that. But like, I think that's a legitimate reason. I don't know if there's like a celebrity that I'm like, just fuck him just for no reason. Who's yours? Um, I was thinking I don't like, uh. The the she's she's comedian female fat Amy Schumer no everyone hates her no oh. she was she went through a big fame stint uh it was in Ghostbusters oh Melissa McCarthy yeah sure don't like her I don't no. think I know enough about her never never liked like it 
it wasn't even um like I saw a performance that I didn't like. It was just like right off the bat, I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna like. I caught the vibe of her style of how she like gets laughs. Who from was? People. And I just wasn't a fan of it. Who was that Filipino looking guy in SNL? Whoa, for a while? easy, Chief. You know what I'm talking There's about? There's no reason to hate someone. He, he he just bothers me, and I don't like him. Is it like recent? Like, is he still on? But no, hold on, stand by. Stand by. Stand by. But yeah, and, and the, like since then, I've seen Melissa McCarthy movies and stuff like that, and like I've tried to reform my opinion, and I just it's still the same form of comedy for me, and I, I'm not, I don't like it. Yeah, don't like her. I'm not. Uh, it's I, the same. Again, it's like James enough. Gordon. Is is oh, it, he's a fucking you know dude. Fred Fred Armisen. See? Is that his name? The the say? gay guy. Is he gay? I think so. Fred. Oh, the dude with like the really like obnoxious face. This dude. Where's yeah, the glasses. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, not a fan yeah. of his. Yeah. I yeah. I don't think he's funny. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's funny either. Eh, I. He was a writer, right? Yeah, I like. Well, I, he was on the show a lot. But he was originally a writer, I he think, was a, for the show. He was a writer. I think he was definitely more of a behind-the-scenes guy. But then he had um, he has that show. He has a skit show. And that, that's not funny either. Yeah, I've seen clips of it. Like, I've I've tried to watch it before, and it, I, it didn't – it wasn't funny to and, me. And just like SNL um, has gone down. So, like, if Jordan's the camera, SNL, like, it, the, the guitar is the cue card. And they'll be like, I understand completely that that's what we need to do. Because, yeah, like, no. Or, like, if Jordan's the person I'm talking to, they'll literally have their head turned this way to read a cue card. Like, it, it's not funny when you're reading. I think uh, SNL. I, you know? That's why I, I don't read. Right. <laughs> don't read. That's why I never learned. That's, that's all we're saying here is we need to drop that literacy rate. Uh, absolutely. We'll be a lot funnier as a nation. Um, I think SNL is, <laughs> is something that depends on its cast. I think you have to have the right cast, I think. I feel it's, like we've talked about this before here. We have. Um, it's floating cast. It depends. Who's the main guy? The the guy who the creator. What's his name? Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Uh, there is a petition or like one of the online petition boys going around, mm-hmm. yeah. um, saying that SNL should end when he dies or retires. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with that. It's run its course, man. Keenan Thompson agreed. Yeah. Yeah. I read an interview recently where Keenan Thompson was like. And he's, he's one of the few funny people right. that's on there still. And but see, even he's starting to not get funny. Because now all he does is like he says something, but it's in an exaggerated voice. So they'll be like, oh, my God, we need to go outside. It'll be like, outside is where we'll go. Yeah. And been... then everybody's like, he, 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 he. He's, the... A, he's the longest running cast member, right? Is he? To my knowledge. Oh. Right now. Yeah. Could be, I wrong. Didn't know that. Could be but, wrong about that. But yeah, he said he said like it'd be fine if SNL took like a five year break. And then at that point, Mad TV needs to come back. That would yeah, be I'm dope. So into that. That'd be super awesome. Or the Andy Milanakis show. That'd That's a, two sessions in a row talking about Andy or, Milanakis. Or Key and, or Key and Peele. Or bring back Tosh.0. Key and Peele's still a thing, isn't it? No, they no? did that show a while ago. Yeah, no, I thought Peele's they still did things. No, no I want to I I no, bring back Tosh.0 Tosh. Tosh. so we could just stare, stare at videos and go, I wouldn't have done that in a video. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> I'm Daniel Tosh. <laughs> I'm Daniel Tosh. I'm going to rub oil on myself. <laughs> Here's a video of somebody falling. <laughs> crazy, crazy how huge Tosh.0 was for so long. Well, at you first it funny, was though? good. It was good for about a season or two. Yeah, it was good. Well, I think we were all just we like, were thirteen year old boys. The idea that's what you're supposed to watch. Thirteen year old boys. Well, like the the whole clip <laughs> comedy. Hold on, show. why did you say it like <laughs> that? that? Happened, we have thirteen year old boys. Yeah, we have thirteen year old boys. We are just some wild and crazy guys. <laughs> 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 it's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> we, we watched the test point out. It was good. We watched the Tush Zero. <laughs> Tush. <laughs> that, tush, tush point zero is what it's called in my country. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, what the? Oh, Tush Point Zero. Yeah, we were just thirteen. That's that's why it was funny. Same with Family yeah. Guy. So you know, you know what's fucked up? He's gonna edit all that out. That's why he reset it there. I'll leave it in, chief. <laughs> I don't know what I would I would edit out of that part, but know. no. But yeah, like I don't know. I don't know how Rob Deerdeck did it, 
that he can continue it, and it's still entertaining for the most Dude, part. Rob Deerdick is a fucking beast. Yeah, like, as far as like being a one man media team. Did you see that YouTube video yeah, of how yeah, he stayed on top dude. of MTV for yeah. twenty years? <laughs> he straight up was like. Fuck Four you, shows. pay me. Like, <laughs> Four shows. Yeah. And the man's still the king of MTV. He is the only thing worth watching. He, well, he's the only thing on MTV that's right fair. now. Like, that's you, that's very you go true. To, if you go to like MTV2, it's like just ridiculousness. Oh, stop it. That's ridiculousness. <laughs> <laughs> the chick on Rob's show is annoying. So, yeah, no, Chanel West Coast is yeah. fucking annoying. But yeah. that's part of the thing, though, that, right? That's the Everyone sh- watches it to hate that. I mean, that's a bit, right? <laughs> I think at, I think at that, this point it is. Like, that's a bit. That was a pretty good impression, right? <laughs> I think Zelda's just like <laughs> I don't know why I sound like Chandler's girlfriend there. Oh, uh Fran? No. What, the, the, the one that sounds like fucking well, Yeah, she sounds oh like Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Chandler. I sound yeah. like Lois when I Yeah, that, that was more Lois than which is Fran originally. Well, you know what's crazy about Fran um is her story, her her success story. Cuz she was working at a bridal shop in Flushing, Queen. Uh, Boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. Like, where was she to go? What was she to do? She was out on her fanny. And a lot of people don't know this about her. That's how she became the nanny. Yeah. Talk about the nanny. Talk about that na- the, the nanny show. The nan. Snow, I'm what do you show ridiculousness? <laughs> <laughs> you are also Dude, we should get Rob on the show. She's an Ohio native. He is an Akron native. Yeah. Now, describe it. I mean, it's Ohio. Like- sure. <laughs> Get to the line. That's a. I don't know where you stopped and Chanel started, but but I mean I would. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. it's Chanel West. Yeah. She's pregnant right now, and I feel like she. I feel like when the camera's off, she's actually cool as fuck. Probably. Yeah. Like, I feel like yeah. all of them are. Yeah, like they're just like I do. Yeah. Really want to like we talked about this a long time ago on on the show Monday that like who would be like the guest if you can get someone on that's like realistic enough to come on. Mm-hmm. And I think I said Trevor Moore at the time, which mm-hmm. is upsetting now. Yeah. Um, but Rob Deerdick was probably a close. Fucking that would second. be that Rob, would be a cool guest. I could see Rob Deerdick like actually coming out, and yeah, that would be cool. See, we can do a remote at a skate park down the street. Yeah, Rob's I mean, cool. I wouldn't do yeah, it at this Rob. time at night. Why? Um, no. What are you trying to say? No, what are you trying to say? I'm What's saying, wrong? I'm saying that Akron ranks pretty high when it comes to murders, and we murders do it. usually happen at night. We could do it at the Fantasy Factory. That would be fucking cool. Oh my god! Hit Chanel West Coast with dodgeballs. I would. I would piss. Like that was, yeah. like that I would episode. piss Jordan off because I do my piss poor Rob Deerdike impersonation the entire time. It's so bad, dude. Right. It's not. Oh my god! Look, look at all this ridiculousness right now. Look, look at all this. It's not, it's not at all what he sounds like, right? That's... He's got a well, like no, he is, doesn't sound like he's got stupid a, Matthew McConaughey. He's got a little bit of a twang, and it's just a little bit. He does. Dude's from Thank Akron. You. He speaks like he's no, from Ohio. I agree with the fact exactly. That he, he like it, his words go like down. Right. His, like, right. His, his that's the best way. To, thank yeah. you. That's the best his way. Words to put it. go down. There are people like. You can you tell have when they up talk. speakers uh, yeah. and you have down speakers. You have up speakers and down speakers. His, <laughs> his kind of are like slower and down. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get Rob Deerdick speaking. Our first category dedicated our to your first our first He's not. He doesn't sound like listen. a Southern preacher. Our though. first category. Yeah. That yeah. was closer, yeah. but too, yeah. too Southern. Like Chanel, you know. Yeah. Chanel, you've seen it. You got the yeah, inflection. It's just too Southern. It's a little. No, but it's kind of play. Give me some Rob. Th- thank <laughs> you. Hook me up with some Rob right quick. <laughs> now that I'm listening. You love golf more than your son. Golf. Come on. Because <laughs> you love He's golf. He's preaching. More, more than your son. He's preaching on Sunday in the middle what of you're Waco, doing, Texas right now. What you're doing is going out there on that green. <laughs> And someone, you're trying to sink that putt. Someone get me a supercut video of just Rob doing a sermon. You know what? <laughs> I, go, I would go Seriously. to that church. Oh, just, yeah. If he's looking at it, he's like, because Jordan, you got to be saved, man. <laughs> you got to be saved. Here's some videos sins. about people who weren't saved. <laughs> <laughs> go to church with the fucking hey, clip show. Right. And it's just showing a bunch of meth heads. And he's like, he clearly needed Jesus. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. We might be onto something. Let's start a fucking church, but we show clip shows it's for a, a sermon. Show. Listen. I go like, to that. I feel it's like, just I like could a preach. bunch of atheists and Satanists like doing drugs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> see, you think he's speaking tongues to God, but that's not God. 
<laughs> that's the meth. That's not God. And then like you that's make a joke. Drugs talk. You tell like some corny ass fucking Joel Olstein joke, and then Chanel's in the background. <laughs> We hire a Chanel to laugh in church. <laughs> it's just, but, but, it's, but, it's, but it's, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. <laughs> and our, we, the only song we sing is Goodness Gracious Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> and Fantasy by Aldo Nova, of course. In, in him tune. <laughs> And we get a full goodness choir. gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> and we get a uh, we get a full choir for the yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a foam pit. <laughs> we baptize him in the foam pit, <laughs> and it's just a picture of Big. <laughs> oh, agree. Yeah, yes. agree. Yeah, yeah. There's just like a nice oil painting of Big. <laughs> oh, see, I yeah, I was thinking one of the like fabric ones from like the the seventies. Why don't we just do stained glass, guys? Oh, I'd be yeah. Yeah, so, you know what? That's a little too too traditional. <laughs> oh, well, that's a little well, bit too now. much. <laughs> well, wait now, stop. Listen, I, <laughs> listen, I gotta I gotta go design some shoes. Okay, I gotta do. Who who does gotta go do a kickflip? Who is that? You know who it is? It's Matthew McConaughey. No, it's Jace from Duck Dynasty. I don't know who that is. Pull pull up Jace from Duck, and you're gonna hear it. I'm running a fucking <laughs> clip show now. Apparently, like he's literally talking. Like this. You know the grandpa from Duck Dynasty has his own like uh, show where he talks about the internet. He and basic, it's... He basically like... Uh, I haven't seen the show for obvious Watch reasons, but... Watching old RV, are we? Giving her a little bath. You planning on that, taking it somewhere? Is that the Dynasty man? What, what are you was going that Jace? Do? Yeah, that was Jace. Dude, I've been obsessed with Duck Dynasty. That fucking show's hilarious, and that's actually like a good family. Like those but, are good fucking. No, people. no, I don't I doubt it. It's just not yeah. my cup of tea. But, I get it. No, I get it. But the the old man has a show. I don't, is I forget. No, I don't the know. old man died, and that's Pawn Stars. Get with it. Wow. No, no I'm talking about I'm talking about Duck Dynasty. With Damn Pons. it, Chumley. But he like reviews the internet. Like he just goes on the internet and talks about. Are the you internet. talking about Psy? Psy. Psy. Fucking Psy cracks me up. Opa yeah. Gangnam Style. No, like he literally like. So he's like good old fashioned like redneck guy. That's yeah, yeah I know the grandpa, but and, is his name actually Sai? Yeah. No. So that's the uncle. So the uncle uncle is Uncle Sai. And like he'll literally oh, he'll be like, uncle? be like, listen here, Jack. I want to tell you something, man. Hey. Like you got you gotta make sure you go over there. Hey. Like, like it's and it's fucking hilarious because like the dude's actually like cre- he served like 35 years in the military. So like he's crazy fucking smart. Hang on. Like so, ridiculous. Side, sidebar. When's the last time you saw Rob Deerdick actually skate? It's been a minute. No. Yeah been forever the last time i watched robin big yeah it's been a minute yeah i don't even maybe i think that was the last time rob probably skated or fantasy factory i was gonna say a couple times with big cat apparently big cat by the way real creepy dude really that's what i've heard i knew a couple people that knew him really because they're from akron really yeah they say he's a real creepy dude uh he uh he's probably really rich see i could see him being awkward yeah diamond supply is like a huge company now i could see being awkward yeah I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the guy, but that's just what I hear. Well, I heard the last time they asked Rob if he wanted to go uh, skateboarding, he said, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was a dumb fucking joke. What do you think? Uh, you think there's going to be like another big clip show? I need Roy you William think, Johnson to come back for think a clip it'll show, be like a, You think it'll be like a thing that there will always be like one big one? I think Kevin Hart's going to ruin it. I think somebody's going to give Kevin. one? No, oh. but I could see it happening. And he's just going to scream and yell and stomp his feet after I every love, clip. I love Kevin Hart. I don't. I love Kevin Hart's Hart. one that annoys me. I'm over it. I love Kevin Hart. I'm over it. Like, he's a good dude. I'm still not. Here's the thing. I, I understand that sentiment, and I understand that I'm not over it yet. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 know, I know what's going on here. And it just hasn't worn off on me. I yet. like Kevin Hart, the person. He's a funny guy. Right. He's very funny. Mm-hmm. I don't like the shtick. You know, because it's the same thing as Adam Sandler. Yeah, That's why yeah. I burnt out on Adam Sandler. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, like with Kevin yeah. Hart, it's, I know I'm small, but I'm actually big. No, yeah. no, you're not. Yeah, you're yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly Like, it's it stand up the rocks great. there. Yeah. Right. <sighs> yeah. What is Rock doing? Everything. Making like, the fuck do you mean? Like, Jack Black saw Making that the money. Kevin Hart train is going down, and he's like, I'm getting out. By the way, by the way. I reported this on Saturday. This is real. Mm-hmm. Kung Fu Panda Four coming to yeah, twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three. Well, you and know, I'm fucking hyped. That will make four that I haven't seen. It's a really good saga, dude. Those are pretty good. Yeah, it's a. Really I mean, I've good heard one. nothing but good things. The cartoon on Nickelodeon was shit. 
didn't watch that either. Although I remember the fucking theme song. You know what I thought about the other day? Though? Yeah, the legends of the Kung Fu Panda. Did do, Jack do, Black do, 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 do the theme do. song? Yeah, he, he did sing huh. the theme song. Um, Back at the Barnyard, the show. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny. I always forget that it was a movie before it was a yeah, show. Yeah, I always think of the show before the movie. It's a pretty good show. That's yeah. wild that the show like out succeeded the movie. I uh, well, it was only out for like two seasons, was it? Yeah, really. Yeah, I, I, I think it was such a like a big one for me. Check that. I, am. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm running a clip show over here, guys. <laughs> Don't <laughs> mind me. <laughs> what was the what was the far movie with Roseanne where she played a cow? What? Home on the range. Yes. Yes. I don't. My udders are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be crazy when we get copyright strike for our fans. <laughs> right. 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 So, uh, can they copyright strike? What's your uh, so. What's your favorite iteration of the Ninja Turtles? Oh, I thought we were gonna talk about favorite iteration of the clip show. Oh, what's your favorite iteration? What's your favorite clip show? Rob Deerdick. Ridiculous. Ridiculousness. Ridiculousness. And then and then slightly under, not by much, equals three. What's mm. happening for him? What's happening, guys?